Hey guys, we're watching Volgor's beer reviews in this episode. Old English, high gravity, 800. Fun fact, there are two Old Englishes, or, you know, two different versions, you know, typically. Besides your Oklahoma's version of 3.2%, which, wow, what's the point? Like, drink a Bud Light, or is the Bud Light 1%? I don't know. Um, yeah, this is ice cold. It's been the broken fridge, so it's like a fridge in there, or a fr uh, freezer. Oh, crap. I think it's frozen. Well, bottoms up. Well, it's not frozen, it's just iced. Ice cold. But yeah, fun fact. There's two versions. There's Old English, uh, what, standard? Just... Oh, it's cold. Oh, my God, chest freeze. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, Old English. And then there's High Gravity. What's the difference? Half a percent. Why? I don't know. Yeah. 8% alcohol by volume on the uh, Old English. I don't know what it's called. This Old English. The original version. It's 7.5. Why? I have no idea. I don't know. I just don't get it. Um, anyways, the beer I've kit, not that it matters, is 57 out of 100 awful. And uh, the bros don't even review it. Because it's malt liquor and it's bum juice and it's just too cheap and disgusting. Wah, wah. Because you're little sissy lalas. And the average reviewer on Beer Advocate gives it a 2.25. And uh, I didn't realize this, but Miller owns Old English. You know what else Miller owns? Still Reserve. You know what else? Magnum. They own three different malt liquors. Oh, wait, and Mickey's, which they didn't own originally, but they acquired it. Um, when later on, along with Colt 45 or whatnot, I think. Anyways, yeah, it pours pr pretty, pretty golden. Not not very clear. Not um too. Yeah, very golden hue. Pour. Uh. Thin soapy head. Blown and see if it. Yeah, it's not a creamy head, but it's you know, not bad for a you know malt liquor. I think it's like a dollar seventy-five for a twenty-four ounce can. I don't know how much a forty is. Probably two forty, something like that. Taste like malt liquor. Um, I don't know. Tastes just fine to me. Um, between this and Still Reserve, I think this has a little more flavor in it. It's less. Uh, Well, flavor is, you know, what, relative? It's, uh, you know, doesn't really say much. It's not as, for me, as, like, offensive as Still Reserve or maybe Hurricane. I don't know, but it, it I just like, I think I like this more. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, it's, but then again, I'm not doing it back to back to back, so I don't know. I'm just saying this is not bad. I don't really taste that much of a difference from Old English and Old English High Gravity, but it's only half a percent, so how can you? I don't know. It almost seems smoother, but that could be just because it's colder. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know what else there is to say. I mean, it's cheap. It's... I like it. Um, I drink this over a lot of things, especially uh, Four Locos or crap like that. I mean, it's not 12, it's up 12%, but hey, 8's close enough for me. Especially for how cheap it is. I mean, you know, buck seventy if you get like a 4 loco or a Tilt or a Juice or a Colt 45 Blast. Well, I don't know for sure, but probably. 
Um, those are typically like two something, like two dollars, some odd cents for the same size, just for three more percents, or just buy two of these for three bucks, dollar more. Uh, then two tilts or whatever, f multi fruity, four loco whatnot. Gotta be like four forty. So, who would drink this? Just the average guy, you know, somebody that's not picky, somebody that wants to get, wants to get a buzz, or just wants, doesn't want to drink a bunch of beers to just to get a buzz. Just one of these, and that should do it. If not two, but yeah. I don't know. That's not much else to say. I mean, yeah. Old English. Tastes good. And by the time I upload this video, um, which I don't have my pocket, left in the truck, but I did find my phone. It was under the chair. Yep, last place to look. But my phone is still missing. I called up Virgin Mobile and they dis... dis... Uh, Cut the cord on it. They they cut off the minutes or whatever. Halted the minutes. But yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. Got a score to beer. This beer I think is actually pretty good. I mean, actually, for what it is. I don't know if it's just because of how cold it is, and that just gives it better perks. And that's how you want to drink malt liquor, ice cold. Um, you know your typical beer, um, cold. Doesn't really matter too much if it's ice cold, but this, you know, it's about it was almost frozen. In fact, I almost thought it was frozen, and that makes it taste a lot better. So for what it is, it's cheap. Get gets drunk. It, it seems to be pretty smooth for me. You know, I don't really take it. Does, it's not IPA. It's not classy, whatever. But you know, it gets the job done, and it it tastes tastes decent. You know, and for that, I give it a seven point nine. And and I I gave that same review, that same rating to the, uh, that German beer Pilsner, I can't remember what it's called Rotker, Pil whatever I can't remember, but that was $3 for a was that a 16 ounce can? or was it the same size? I can't remember but it was $3 this is $1.75 almost half um, let's go check. Kind of a biscuity finish, I guess. I don't know. People s try to describe what how something tastes, and I'm like, well, I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was a 16 ounce can. This stuff. Um, Colonying Pilsner. Yeah, that was $3 for. Yeah, and you know what between the two? I'd rather much have the her, uh, the the Old English High Gravity. That is 8%. Uh, is that twice? Yeah, that's twice as much. 16, 24. Alright, no, 16, 16, 32. Horrible numbers. Well, it's the next size up. It's bigger. And uh, what else? I mean, it actually it it has a stronger flavor, not a bad flavor, and it's just you know multi. It's good, and it's I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's not bad. If you if you hate it and you can't take it, that means you just you just you can't take it. It's like if you don't like uh, an IPA, and you you can't take the taste. You just can't take it. You can't really judge it because I mean you can't be fair to to the beer if you can't handle the the hoppiness or the Whatever. I don't know what the gravity. 
But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. And remember, drink your malt liquor ice cold. So yeah, 7.9. That's pretty fair, I think. It's no 54 out of 100, no, or 30, or whatever beer advocate reviews. It's way better than that. And to anybody that says, oh, it's garbage, it's... it's uh... Maybe if you just don't buy a really expensive beer for a while, and then just buy cheap beer, you'll appreciate cheap beer. I don't know what else to say, but peace out.